Hello and welcome to part 3 of the making of foldable longboard. This is Shay's part where he's putting grip tape on. It's a good length. Fits well. He's going to need the ends of the board so that I can do some leather work and the middles of the board where the bends are. He's going to use a file and a scalpel. So, all's good. She's going to tape down the ends of the board so that you can see what he's doing. And it's down so that you can actually go around with the file without having trouble of holding it down. He's going to make out the sections, the three sections of the board. And then he's going to cut it with a scalpel. Go through the grip tape. She's done a very good job with the grip tape. I'm very thankful because this means I've got a lot of grip wax right in the board and it probably won't come off. <laughs> She's left an edge to the board. It looks very stylish and it's very nice. So that's the finished product. She's very happy with it. So he wishes you to next time. Okay. <coughs> I've also got leather punch for doing some leather work on it. A sharpie. Some paper to do some templates, a chopping board, a ruler, and of course the leather. Okay, and we probably wouldn't get very far without some fabric scissors. A rough template. We'll need four of these cutting. So this is how one side will work. When the board folds, the leather will only just slightly take apart. And when they fold back down, they'll go over and cross over again. Four bits of hide have been cut. took ages just to cut 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 holes. Very long time. I have here my assorted screw set. I'm going to use the smallest one possible to fix down the leather. And it will probably be this one. Okay, I fixed on the leather brackets. It's really, really good. I've done it to the other side, you can see. And what we're going to do now is compress the leather. So what you do is you just wet the leather like so and then you come and compress it like this it only takes about two seconds one two and you can see it's already made an emboss so i've added another bit of leather on down the middle of this is looking really good um it also helps support a lot more weight and you would have thought it might put some more tension on the hinges that is completely wrong because i've put some um, braces on, uh, on uh, leather braces on and same on this side hey I've just put the caps on the caps are really nice they protect the wood from splintering if you hit the curb or something well till next time <laughs>